Hey, this is Fox and this is day 8 of my daily art and life videos, season 2. And um, today, well, I am still tired, but like, you know, in this non-painful kind of way, if that makes any sense. So I did manage to do some sketchbook stuff and it was mostly um, sort of like loosely formatted dabbling and experimenting with stuff like I used this scrunched up paper for printing and I dripped paint mixed with water and I used this flower wrapper to print so that kind of stuff because I can't really think think but I can still experiment without thinking and I think that's kind of the cool thing about experimenting that you don't need to be able to really really think what you're doing for it you can just try stuff I think I shared this spread a while ago when it only had the like bits of the squares and it definitely had its own appeal then but since I've added those two background layers, the silver one and the blue one, and this is the one where I used scrunched up paper to print. Um, so uh, right now what I'm trying to figure out is actually how to best apply to paint to the scrunched up paper in the first place because when you apply too much well depending on the effect you are looking for but when you apply a lot you kind of get those really thick blobs and you can miss a lot of the texture and when there is little paint you can get like the actual um, folds and well just a more shape rich texture. I don't know if that's a thing. I mean both can be good but um, um, the way I was doing it was just dabbing the paper in like the lid of my acrylic jars and then I get this like really thick thing so gotta experiment more with it. Sorry about the notification. And I kind of like how these work. Um, it's this um, flower, like decorative flower wrapper thing that I had. And I initially thought I could use it as a stencil, but that doesn't really work with thick acrylic and a big brush the way I was doing it. So I ended up like applying paint to this actual thing and then pressing it into the paper and I actually really like it. I think it's cool how you get both like blobs and those lines and they're crisscrossed and some look like they're in front of the others. I really like this effect. It could definitely work as a stencil too, but then I would need to use maybe spray paint or apply the acrylic in a different way. That's kind of cool. And I don't know where this spread is going yet, but somewhere. And then there's this one where I just kind of let loose and just did colors because I can't really even grasp ideas right now all that well, but I get colors still. And those are just so basic. I I don't know, I just really like them. They're very basic. I mean, you have two primaries and they're just like direct contrast. But they feel good. They just feel right. I really enjoyed doing this spread. And there may be more happening here later on, but so far it's it's this, and I like it. 
So yeah, even though I haven't really been able to do any of my intellectual work, well, the kind that actually requires focusing and thinking, like my dev work and websites, I'm happy that I at least got this like bit of my sketchbook. And I guess in a way I can just say that today's better than yesterday. Also, my brain is a little bit fuzzy right now, so I think I should just stop talking. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here, and I'll see you tomorrow.